What is going on guys? Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Today we are going to be talking about collimation. The thing that we all love to hate as reflective telescope owners. There are all kinds of collimation tools out there. Some better than others. And you know just depending on your preference there's you know there's all kinds of options there. Well OSI Optical, um, Farpoint Astro, sent me this auto collimator here for review. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take this thing out, try it out, compare it to some other methods that I use, particularly with the Howie Gladder laser collimator, and see how it measures up. We're gonna be looking at a few things here today. We're gonna be looking at price comparison, the time it takes to get it properly collimated, and the ease of use. So with that, let's get started. This is more of a precision alignment tool, so you would need to have at least a general or basic ballpark collimation, nothing too precise, but something achieved with either like a sight tube or Cheshire first before using this, or even using a laser and then using this. All right, so let's start making some adjustments here. You're going to need, if you have a Newtonian reflector and you're doing this, a Phillips screwdriver and a set of Allen keys. We're gonna start by making just some tweaks to the secondary mirror. All right, that's a little bit closer, very close. That's pretty close. Let's check with the primary. Okay, so let's make some small adjustments to the rear end of the primary mirror. I'm gonna start by actually just loosening or tightening the collimation locking screws, because even small adjustments in those can be all that you need sometimes to get to that final tweak of precision that you're looking for. So let's start with that. All right, that didn't do a whole lot. It did some minor tweaking, but not enough to make some true adjustments. So now um, I have them all loosened. I'm going to adjust the actual collimation screws. Right, almost there, very close. We are almost there. One little, maybe, and these are just eighth or sixteenths of a turn that I'm making. There we go. All right. And that is collimated according to this auto collimator. I'm going to run some tests here later on and see how it actually fares up with some star test results. But from what I can tell, and that this looks pretty spot on. Now, just to see how this measures up with the laser, how we glider laser collimator that I use, I'm gonna put that in there and just see if the alignment is as accurate as it says it is. So, uh, according to this tool, everything is very precisely aligned now, uh, which it appears to be, but we're gonna, we're gonna cross-reference that and see what we get. Okay, so let's drop the how we glider laser collimator into this draw tube here and let's see if I can see any deviation with this now when you just for safety sake whenever you're looking down the tube of a Newtonian or reflector scope always check and see especially if you've collimated yet if you're using a laser collimator if the beam is coming out because you don't want to look directly into the beam okay use caution here 
uh, but what you can do, you can always look at the indirect reflection of it, uh, just as if you had had it pointing at the ground and you were looking at the reflection of the beam on the ground. So with caution, you can do this. Some people prefer to do it with cameras, which I do sometimes as well. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to take a quick look here and let's see what we have. And yeah, as far as I can tell, that looks pretty darn good. Um, it all looks like one single beam. That's what you're looking for is one, one straight line, no you know, straying dots. You know, What you'll see sometimes is you'll see a dot on the center hole of the donut, but then you'll see another red dot to the left of that because it's not reflecting back into the emitter of the collimator perfectly. And from what I can see right here, this is pretty much spot on. I can't, I can't see any deviation there. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and that did not take me much time to do that collimation. So I'm pretty impressed. I think that was, uh, this has proven to be a very effective collimation tool. And I will definitely be using that each time when I collimate. These still come in handy, like I said, especially if your collimation is off. And if it's way off, there's actually a concentric ring adapter that you can get from Howie Gladder. Uh, I think it's StarAzona.com. There's some other retailers that sell it too. But that will help you get that primary aligned. So once you get that, you can use a laser or Cheshire or Sight Tube, whatever you have. And then this auto collimator here, this auto collimator here does a great job of getting it aligned precisely. So I'm really pleased and can't wait to test out this telescope on the next clear night, which tonight is supposed to be getting cloudy, so it won't be tonight, unfortunately. But looking forward to see what kind of results I get. If you are interested, if you are interested in the Farpoint Auto Collimator, they are only $88. I'll have a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase one. Overall impressions and thoughts, the collimator, it's my first time using it. It was pretty easy to figure out. I just looked at some instructions, uh, basic instructions provided and a quick article online. It took me maybe five minutes. Uh, but the general idea is to line up those circles. They, there's four of them, or three of them in this case, but there can be up to four, three of them, and you get them all concentric and you're good. It's, it's really a simple design and obviously very effective as well. So I really like that about it. Uh, cost point at only $88. That's a bargain, I think, for a quality collimation tool. So definitely kudos to them there. They've got it. And the build of this is this is an all metal construction. There's no plastic on this whatsoever. This is solid metal, has a nice heft to it. You can tell it's very well built, very much like the Howie Gladder laser collimator. So to me, this is a win. Well guys, that, that's it for today for AV Astronomy. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of it. If this helps you just collimate those Newtonians a little bit easier and get that precise alignment you need for imaging, I hope this does the trick for you. So as always, thanks for watching. Keep on looking up, keep on seeking. God bless, and until next time, clear skies. Take care.